back to our divided kids learning uh, session we have been discussing about uh, the growth of basic social skills and uh, as part of a divided kids uh, curriculum we have defined one of the major skill as social and emotional skill and under emotional skills we have further defined four sub skills and if we continuously track various components under under this four sub skills then we should be able to track we should be able to monitor the very basic growth parameters and the requirements which will make us make our child uh, socially compatible and the social skills of our children will be much better and one of the sub skills out of this four sub skills is the behavioral aspects of the child and basically we are looking to the problem behavior of the children under this uh, problematic behavior and under the attention problem or overactiveness is one of the major issue in the children in this preschool years and there are eight components uh, which needs to be tracked or monitored on a regular basis to ensure that uh, the child doesn't have any problem behavior related to attention or overactiveness and the seventh component we are going to discuss today that deal with the restlessness of the child or sometimes we call it as the fidgety uh, nature of the child so we need to understand what are the symptoms what are the signs that will lead us to understand if child is restless in nature or fidgety in nature which is a part of the problem behavior and what are the various strategies that is available in the preschool years that we can employ to take care of such issues in our children now how to identify uh, that a child is restless or fidgety and for that purpose we have to keep an eye on regular behavior of our child so that we can we can uh, again note or we can discuss with the teachers we can discuss with the parents that the child may require some kind of attention to overcome uh, such uh, restlessness behavior number 1 uh, the child doesn't often complete a task so i guess part of social effectiveness or social skill if a child is completing a particular task then the effectiveness is considered to be very high and uh, the the people who are around the child will be loving and liking the child very much provided if the task is completed but if a child is having some kind of restlessness the child will not able to complete a task that's the very first symptoms we need to keep it in mind as a parents and teachers we have to ensure that a given task is completed by the child and if it is not completed kindly take a note and such kind of things can be discussed in the right forum so that necessary action can be taken second symptom could be uh, a child is tapping fingers palm or leg quite often and that shows that the child is not calm and quiet at the cognitive level that means something is going in the mind of the child which makes the child quite restless in nature and as a part of the manifestation the child starts tapping the fingers or tapping the palm or leg so if such kind of symptoms or signs is visible in our child we have to take care uh, the child considering that is a symptoms for restlessness behavior of the child the next symptoms could be such that child talks in between 
either it's a conversation between two adults it's a conversation between the teacher and other children and when the child is not asked for some explanation or some answer but the child jumps into that conversation and unnecessarily disrupts that flow of conversation among others so if such situation happens then we categorize the child as some kind of restlessness in nature because uh, the child needs some kind of attention the child needs to manifest those restlessness things that's happening within the child's mind to do that child will often find somebody who is having some conversation and tries to disrupt them so if such behavior occur then we have to consider that uh, may not be essential but uh, that may lead to of further restlessness behavior of the child then another symptoms could be the child talks out of context because if a particular subject is getting discussed or the child is part of any discussion then talking much about that subject is always good because that indicates that child knows much about that subject and child talks sense but if the child is restlessness in the behavior then child would like to do something or other to make sure that uh, you know the internal restlessness things will be taken care of or will come out so in that situation the child will try to tell anything but those things will be out of the context uh, of 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 the subject which is being discussed in a particular uh, situation and other symptoms could be the child moves around very rapidly and changes the activities very very quickly the time to spend on a particular activity is very very less at this point of time child is not quiet or child is not calm and spending time on a particular activity so the child will be very very quick changing the activities so if such situation happens then we may categorize the child is having some kind of symptoms of restlessness in that situation it is always good to do some kind of uh all of some kind of or do some kind of remedies so that the child will not be showing such kind of behavior let's discuss few of these strategies and few of the uh, remedies as parents and teachers we can do either in school or at home so that we can ensure our child is not uh, showing such behavior number 1 is that uh, engaging child in some physical activities with defined time what we do most of the time since parents we are busy with our uh, own activities with our own commitments we do not spend time uh, with our children and as a as a result what happens child is left alone and in that situation if child is having some kind of restlessness behavior and that adds to that further problem to this and in the school also if teacher is not identifying such signs and symptoms and let the child left alone then such problem will be multiplied so a one to one session is required for such children so that we just pick up some kind of physical or mental activities and we should be along with the child until the activity is getting over so by putting such behavior or by putting such uh, 
think continuously into action then we develop such uh, such uh, thing in the child so that child will be spending much time so that is very important for one important thing to remember is that spending time one to one with the child with some kind of activities then sometimes if the child is confined to a room to in 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 a isolated situation the child will try to do some kind of activities which uh is not socially accepted and in such situation exposing the child to the natural environment helps a lot there are research around the, the globe which has uh, shown that if the child is being uh, child is spent quite a lot of time in natural environment the sign and symptoms of restlessness go away So for that matter, what we need to do as parents or teacher, we have to ensure if the child is doing such kind of uh, behavior, we have to spend little bit more time with the child in a natural environment and with a defined activities. So it could be a kind of uh, one spell of football playing, or it could be throwing and catching a ball. So, so that child will be engrossed into that particular activity in a natural environment. If such things can be done in a quick intervals, then uh, this fidgety or restlessness nature may be taken care of to a greater extent. Then further, what we need to do, we have to spend uh, time with uh, the child, uh, which the child loves spending time with that. sometimes it happens that as teachers and parents we are having our own agenda of uh, activities with our children we take it for granted our child will be liking that particular activity but when we start playing that activity with our child then child doesn't show interest into that and uh, child moves away so because of this restlessness the uh, restlessness nature if child doesn't like something then uh, that will add further to the problem so important thing here is we have to understand and identify what are the activities our child loves to spend time so we pick up those activities and ensure that we do those activities with our child in order to improve that calmness and uh, spending time into that particular activity so one of such activities is pillow fight every children they love to do this particular activity in either school or in in home environment if parents or siblings they spend time uh, with the child having some kind of restlessness behavior such kind of game is definitely going to help our children to come out of this restlessness behavior then another thing is that uh, we need to uh, do something so that child's time into a particular activity is increasing so in that case we may introduce some kind of rewarding system into place that means if a child is spending desired amount of time into something then the child will be rewarded so very basic psychological acceptance or fact is that every human being loves to do a particular task if that is connected to rewarding system so if we say that uh, if if the child will be spending let's say 10 minutes into a particular activity or doing a drawing some kind of uh, coloring or some kind of um, you know uh, putting a, uh, art and craft then the child will be getting reward it could be a box of chocolates it could be something that child loves to have so in this situation child will be trying to spend more time into that by keeping in mind that is yes, there is a reward for that so that situation or that 
that activity or that rewarding system in mind will help the child to spend more quality time into a particular activity which will reduce the symptoms of restlessness in the child so it could be a, a game which is called beat the clock so clock with a given time uh, will be put into action and once the alarm goes off then child wins if the child moves away before the alarm uh, rings then the child loses so this is a fantastic game for the child to spend uh, more time into a particular activity and if we can employ this particular game at uh, either in school or in uh, house then that will help our child to come out of the symptoms of restlessness then how we need to measure that so as we have already defined there are uh, various uh, symptoms it could be child is not completing the task the child talks out of context the child tip the uh, tap finger palm or foot very often or the child moves around without any reason if such kind of things uh, is present in our child we have to do that uh, check at least once in six months and those things can be recorded in the child's file so that those things can be discussed with the pediatrician or the family physician of the uh, of, 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 of the child so you know if that those symptoms are never present we can give a score of zero if it is sometimes that that child does it that's very natural and child has to come out of that then we give uh, a score of one and if the child is doing very often those activities the degree of restlessness or the intensity of restlessness is very high then we give a score of three which indicates the child needs immediate action to prevent those kind of uh, behavior for the child is doing quite uh, often so uh, this is all about uh, the restlessness nature of the child and i hope the symptoms and the strategies to work on them will be helpful to the parents and teachers either in school or at home and uh, uh, going further uh, the next component perhaps the last component of the attention problem uh, in the social behavior uh, that deals with uh, if child disrupts ongoing activities at any situation so that is uh, again uh, is a problematic behavior among children and we will be discussing about this particular uh, uh, situation and particular uh, signs symptoms and strategies to manage them in our next session of uh, uh, field development uh, sessions so until then thank you so much and if you have any doubt any compliment any query or you have to add anything to make this particular uh, initiative to ensure that all teachers and parents who have taken responsibility of children to to make them absolutely useful then you may raise your queries or uh, other information uh, by the contact details which is showing in your screen so until then thank you so much and looking forward in our next session where we'll be discussing another set of skills in social skill development thank you so much